The Electoral Commission of Ghana has set December 17th aside to conduct a referendum for Ghanaians to decide whether they want political parties to fund district assembly and lower local government unit elections. We want to ask Ghanaians their take on this decision. The fact that people can influence votes and once the person is voted, it's difficult for the person to be you know, fired. It means you have to serve all the four years. Meaning even if he's not competent, he will still have to be there for four years because he's been elected by the people. But if he's appointed by the president or she is appointed by the president, then the president can, he can fire the person if he or she is not delivering. So that is the advantage to the citizens. Uh, on the other hand, the president can also appoint his favorite, who might not be as competent, which means but the advantage to that again is if the person is not competent, the citizens can veto. And if the president is a hearing president, he'll be forced to change the person. So for me, I will still go for the president appointing on both of, uh, based on what uh, the two scenarios I've given. Uh, the third thing that I also say, which to me is also a disadvantage, it also comes with cost. When you have to run any election, we all know the amount of money that goes into this. Now, if we are going to get value for money, then I'm for it. I support that MMDCs should be elected. Now, this is going to bring a lot of creativity and innovation into the administration of the elected MMDCs. Just like the, like the uh, political party platform, the MMDC, an individual who was to be elected, will have to present his proposals to the locality. And if, 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 it's, if it's acceptable to him, yes, they, they vote him. If, if, if they elect him and he doesn't perform, they kick him out very early and quickly and fast. Me per se, you vote my own. Because the situation now in the scene is, Government be bad. Now onua echo soon in crop for another one bad. Now we ye on we free ho. No onu so the need ya abetu so. Se nipano o ye jumani yeah. There's no point say se wo ba ube yi ni free ho. But se ye chusu yanka sa na na ye votu na e yi ni panu di to hold I don't think say government nube yi ni free ho. Yeah, I've heard about it and I think I'm in support of it. Like we should vote. Uh, for our MD uh, to be appointed, not the, uh, not to be appointed by the government or the president. I would want to know what the pros and cons are for um, either side. How much is going to cost? Because I know elections cost money, and if that's going to cost taxpayers money, then definitely we we'll look, we we'll need to look into that and see how much that that would cost. Random is whether our MCs should be also voted for us. We've been voting for. MPs. What is your take on it? Also? I think yes, it should, we should vote out for them. I believe it should be non-partisan so that whenever the assemblyman wants to work, he will feel free to work. It shouldn't be NDC, it shouldn't be MPs. 